Hello, friends. Today, we'll learn about genes and Mendel's laws. You look a lot like your dad. Have you ever noticed why you look more like your relatives than other people? Where do traits such as hair color, shape of face, color of skin, etc. come from? The parts of your cells that determine these traits are called genes. In the past, no one knew what genes were. In the 20th century, scientists figured out that genes are actually made of DNA. Genes come in pairs. You inherit half of your genes from your mother and the other half from your father. All humans start out as a single cell. DNA tells the single cell to divide into two cells, then four, then eight, until a whole body is formed. You can say DNA acts like a blueprint or a recipe for a living thing. Genetics is the study of genes and heredity. It is the study of how genes and how traits are passed down from one generation to the next. The science of genetics began in the 1800s when Grigor Mandel, father of genetics, figured out how traits are inherited by studying peas. Grigor Mandel discovered the fundamental laws of inheritance. He said that genes come in pairs and are inherited as distinct units, one from each parent. He recognized the mathematical patterns of inheritance from one generation to the next. Mandel's laws of heredity are usually stated as three points. The law of dominance. The first law states that an organism with alternate forms of a gene will express the form that is dominant, meaning a dominant gene will express itself over the recessive gene. The law of segregation. It states that each individual that is a diploid has a pair of alleles, a copy for a particular trait. Each parent passes an allele at random to their offspring, resulting in a diploid organism. The allele that encloses the dominant trait determine an individual's observable trait, such as dominant hand, eye color, and blood type. The Law of Independent Assortment it states that the alleles of two or more different genes get sorted into gametes independently of one another. In other words, the allele a gamete receives from one gene does not influence the allele received from another gene. Mendel's laws allow you to understand how character is inherited and what determines the phenotype that different individuals acquire. You can say, it greatly contributes to your understanding of genetics. Mendel's laws are vastly used by plants and animal breeders to produce better breeds. Now, you know a lot about the topic. Stay tuned for more videos. Bye-bye.